from Nyeri County. Like you said, I speak to uh, the County Assembly of Nyeri Speaker John Kagusha uh, to give us insights as a leader uh, who represents uh, the House or um, a part, part of the uh, devolution process. And uh, we get to feel you know, what is his thoughts or what are the thoughts of such people, especially people who are uh, running governments at the county level. Uh, Karibu sana, Bwana Speaker. Uh, you know, just uh, give us insights into this whole referendum uh, debate. Uh, what is your take, as, especially as a county leader? Thank you very much, uh, Martin. Uh, wh one of the things I would like to say is that uh, as we are discussing here, I believe and I think that we have not given this issue of a referendum uh, and, and our constitution uh, sufficient time to be looked at by Kenyans. And as we are talking about a referendum, you realize that we are quite haphazard. It's only uh, very few people seem to understand actually what they are talking about in terms of this referendum, including my my friend uh, Okot. I think I think the Kenyans have not yet gotten exactly what it is that we are talking about, and they have not gotten exactly what it is that we want to you know you know look at in the in the in this constitution, and hence the referendum. So I think the issue of the referendum debate is is rather hurried. Is rather uh, you know, too fast, and uh, we have not yet conceptualized exactly what it is as Kenyans uh, we require to actually do away with. But as much as we say that, uh, we definitely have a huge wage bill in the country which need to be addressed uh, as to whether it is going to be addressed through a referendum or whether it can be addressed through reviewing the certain parts of constitution in the in the, in the National Assembly and the Senate. Uh, really, that is something that is up for debate. But again, I would like to say that as much as we do this, the issue of having uh, devolved units, the issue of having money going to the common Mwananchi is an issue that cannot be interfered with whatsoever. Whether you are talking of reducing the representatives, really that's arguable, but as to how money gets to the smallest unit possible in this country is something that we cannot compromise on whatsoever the case. Now you know there is a push actually to have this money going directly to the ward, such that when the money is actually coming to the governor, the, the governor already is aware that this portion of money is actually going to a certain ward for development. And that is what we envisage as Kenyans, so that money can go to the, to the lowest level, to the you know, common monarchy down there, and that they will also participate through the whole process in terms of how this money actually gets to them and what is priority for that common monarchy. So as much as we talk about the referendum, which of course I feel, I feel and believe that it's, too, it's premature actually to discuss the whole issue of a referendum before we engage on a debate on issues in the constitution that we think need to be addressed. Right. But as to the issue of devolution, money must. Whatever you do, whether you reduce the number of representatives, whether you, you, you go about the issue of reducing counties or increasing or reducing constituents or whatever it is that we want to do as a country, we must ensure that money gets to the common monarchy, to the lowest level possible. Right. Uh, and as we wrap up uh, this, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, do you think that uh, this particular referendum is a threat uh, to uh, the concept of devolution? Uh, definitely. If you, if you bring an issue of uh, again taking uh, the, the monanchi's power which they have been having through the devolved units. If you have the concept of taking it back uh, to some few individuals, you have a concept of taking it back to the center, to Nairobi, or to let's say just a few you know, individuals at the top there, that definitely means that then you, you are going to be watering down what has been gained so far. You're going to be watering down uh, the, the, the devolution benefits that you're already enjoying. What I think we need to do as a country is to be, to be a bit more strict in terms of how we use our resources to ensure that uh, we cut wastage, to ensure that there is efficiency in, in how we dispense of our, 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 our duties at the, at, the, at the national and the county level so that we can ensure that money is actually not lost. In fact, if you look at the much money that we are losing, it's actually not even lost so much at the county level. It's actually lost at a, at a, at a higher level. Because if you look at the much money from the budget of three, three trillion, how much is going to the counties? Only 300 or something uh, million. Uh, that is slightly above a quarter billion, really. So you, you, you've got to see that uh, much, a, a lot of the money that we are losing, we are not losing at the county. Yet you can imagine how much impact we are having from this little money that is going to the counties. Then in, in, in that case, then what we actually, we actually need to do is to ensure that out of the three trillion budget, a whole one trillion actually goes to the devolved units. Lisa. There's a referendum call to kupunguza the number of uh, MPs in parliament and also the representatives. Uh, do you think Kenyans are overrepresented? I think so. 
I think so. Do you think there should be a referendum to reduce the number of people who represent us? I, I, I think we should have a referendum because uh, we have so many people doing nothing and they, they are only uh, taking taxpayers' money. And uh, this should not be the case. So we want to support Kupunguza uh, Mzigo? Yeah, at, at, at a governor's work of 47. 47 counties in Zanini. Tunasakiwa kuwa na kama nine counties katika Kenya. Vile tulikuwa na 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 provinces. Iongezo anga moja ya sababu ya riftivari katika marambili. Ado hizi hizi ingine zote ni za kutumia pesa za watu bure. Asante sana. All right, there you have it. One of them supporting this call to kupunguza mzigo. Wanasema punda amechoka. And by the way, we have some, some of the guys who take our taxes. Care, it's customer care week. They're all with us on the roads. Uh, they take our taxes, so it means uh, your ta they're going to take your taxes, but then we need more or them to be spent well. I thought Peter your brother, yeah? Okay, let's try to speak to some of, the, some of them over wow. here. Okay, let's try to speak to this. Uh, hello, sir. My name is Kimani from Citizen TV. We are live right now. We're asking, uh, do you support the call for a referendum to reduce the number of MPs and the number of representatives? I support. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, could you roll the window down for us, please? Okay, yeah. Now you can, yes? Yeah, I support. Mm -hmm. Do you think Kenyans are overrepresented? Uh, not very well, because mm -hmm. if the one who represented you does not do anything, mm -hmm. yeah. Even me, I don't know my MP. I don't know my MCA because they are not working for mm. Kenyans. They are working for their families. Mm. So you think the calls to reduce the number of representatives is the right, the right thing for us to do? Right thing. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, let's move on to somebody else in traffic here. Try to get another person to speak to us. Hello, guys. My name is Kimani from Citizen TV. Uh, we're getting your opinions on the calls for referendum to reduce the number of elected representatives in parliament. Uh, some say we have too many MPs. Do you think that's the right thing to do right now, to call for a referendum and reduce? Yes. Uh, please, uh, roll down the window for us, please, just a little bit. Yes. Most definitely, we have uh, too many of them. And I think a referendum is the way to go. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So you think this is the right thing? Yes, it's, okay. it's, it's actually the right thing to do. Thank you so much. Uh, there you have it, some of the opinions. In fact, all of them that we've spoken to, they support these calls to reduce the number of elected representatives. Of course, the wage bill going high. 